اینا همه قدرت مداران عالم و مستکبران عالم به خصوص شیطان بزرگ رو آمریکا بدانند ملت ایران به هیچ قدرتی باج نداد Iran remains one of the most dangerous threats to the United States. Iran's cruel regime wastes tens of billions of dollars spreading hate. He has money, he has guns, he has information, and he has the keys to the prison. He controls media, he controls judiciary, he controls police, and he has his own economic empire. The hardcore of the system is revolutionary guard. These people control the military security bodies of the country, but also foreign policy, uh, a, a great part of the Iranian politics, and even economy. He became a powerful leader only because he was commander-in-chief of armed forces. Since 2009, he was more comfortable in suppressing the democratic movement in Iran. In this situation, In recent days, we have watched widespread protests erupt in many Iranian cities. Feel some shame. Let go of the country. Those are the words of the brave people of Iran. What does the president see as the end game in Iran? Does he like, would he like to see regime change? I think the ultimate end game would be that the citizens and the people of Iran are actually given basic human rights. Ayatollah Khamenei believes that the West and its allies never recognized the Islamic Republic since 1979. The legacy of Ayatollah Khamenei would be creating a protection for the survival of the regime.